This episode sponsored by GoToAssist Express. CES 2010 at the Al Mega booth here. I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News from the Tech Podcast Network. We're here with Bill Hansen. He's going to talk with us about a brand new product called iConnect. That's right. It's the iConnect wireless data station. And uh, what it is is it basically takes your USB storage you already have, a flash drive, a USB attached hard drive, and it turns it into network storage. So now you can share that across a network, meaning everyone in your home has access now to whatever files you have on that USB storage. So if I have a variety of USB devices from different manufacturers, as long as it's a USB device, will it, do I have to mount it explicitly on this box? You know, it's, it's, we've made it very simple. It doesn't matter where you got it, what brand it is or anything. You simply plug it into the device and it will detect it and then it's then shared. It even maps a drive letter to it just like you would normally do with a USB drive. You have access to it and can share it around your home network. So what, are there any speed limitations that are introduced by having a number of devices there on the bus? You know, there's no real natural speed limitations except for if you're having a lot of traffic going on at the same time, a lot of people accessing it because of network, uh, then there might be a little bit, but otherwise you'd expect the same performance you'd have as a direct attached USB. Okay, so you could have a situation where you had a movie that, uh, that was available on one particular drive, but people were viewing it in three different rooms of the house. Is right. that, okay. then, then you start to see stuff. And of course, it's across your network. So networks have different bandwidths and may determine your performance as well. But in general, you should have access to whatever you need on those USB storage devices. What, what else is cool about this thing? You know, there's a lot of great features because we did more than just the sharing. We've added a print server. So you can use the USB ports with a USB printer. Wow. Uh, we've added media servers. We're demonstrating that today with uh, showing movies and things that are stored on USB storage and serving it up. An iTunes server as well iTunes library, now you can serve that up. Uh, another great feature is device-to-device -device replication, or a copy job. So basically now you plug in your USB device, and you can create a copy job that will copy all your contents from that USB device to anywhere on your network, meaning another network attached storage device, another USB drive you've plugged in. And you can replicate the data from one spot to the other. And you can do it on a schedule or at the touch of a button. So the, so the scheduling then would be for, for backup purposes? Primarily it's designed for backup, but you could utilize it for syncing two USB drives, you could use it for any combination of things that you'd like to do. And it, you can go to or from the device, it, it doesn't matter. You set it up and then it's, it's running for you. Okay. Does this play well with iTunes as far as having multiple devices authorized and so forth? You know, uh, iTunes has different limitations on what you can do because of uh, authorization and their, and their management. Uh, thank you. And uh, so we serve up the content. We leave it up to you and iTunes, really, because it manages how many clients can utilize it as it shows up as a shared uh, storage device and not necessarily in your library automatically. So it's up to you how you want to configure that. What's the price point? The price point's $99 for U.S. Okay, and where would people find to be able to find these units? You know, uh, primarily you find them at iOmega Direct, iOmega.com, and other online locations like your Amazon, your Newegg, those type of locations, and also in retail you'll find them fries you know, Costco, different places like that as well. Okay, so Bill, the, the, the main address then is uh, simply iomega.com, right? That's right, go to iomega.com, you'll find a lot more information there. Okay, thanks very much, have a good show. All right, thanks so much. It be easier with GoToAssist Express, an easy and secure remote support solution purpose-built for individuals, small businesses, and professionals who need to support clients. With the click of your mouse, start a support session. Your client simply enters the code you give them on the fastsupport.com website. With their permission, you have the same access to their computer that you have of your own. You can examine programs, check and modify control panel settings. GoToAssist Express gives you full access to their desktop. Need deeper access? Run the GoToAssist Express diagnostic application to get a system summary, application list, processes, programs that start when the computer starts, network connections, devices, services, along with installed applications, and much, much more. Easily send and receive files back and forth between your and your client's computer. Have another support request come in and need to do two support sessions at the same time? You can run multiple support sessions with GoToAssist Express. Included is an interactive chat client. As you can see, the menu bar of the GoToAssist Express gives you everything you need to do online support. To try GoToAssist Express right now, free for 30 days, you must visit gotoassist.com slash techpodcast. 
That's go to assist.com slash tech podcast for free trial.